welcome viewers the topic of today's discussion is vitamin c vitamin c is a water soluble vitamin its chemical name is ascorbic acid its chemical formula is c6h8o6 and a molecular weight is 176 ascorbic acid or the reduced form and the dehydroascorbic acid or the oxidized form. However, by vitamin C, we always mean the reduced form that is the ascorbic acid. Ascorbic acid can exist as two enantiomers. Enantiomers are stereoisomers that are mirror images of each other and are not superimposable. Ascorbic acid has two enantiomers L and D ascorbic acid. However, vitamin C always refers to the L ascorbic acid and its reduced state. At this point, it's worth mentioning that D ascorbic acid is not found in nature. It can be synthesized chemically in the laboratory and D ascorbic acid does not have any biochemical function as that of vitamin C. However, it still can act as an antioxidant. We will discuss that later on. Food rich in vitamin C include citrus fruits, green pepper, strawberry, broccoli, sweet and white potatoes, and other vegetables. It is also available as dietary supplement in the form of capsules and tablets. And vitamin C rich drinks are also very popular. Deficiency disease associated with vitamin C is scurvy and recommended dietary allowance is about 45 to 90 milligram per day. And there is sort of a debate about the recommended dietary allowance. While United States recommends 90 milligram per day for adult males and 75 milligram per day for adult females, and a tolerable upper limit of 2000 milligram per day. United Kingdom's Food Standard Agency recommends 40 milligram per day for both adult males and females, or 280 milligram per week taken all at a time. Health Canada recommends, like America, 90 milligram per day for adult males and 75 milligram per day for adult females, while WHO or the World Health Organization recommends 45 milligram per day or 300 milligram per week taken all at a time, both for adult males and females. European Commission's recommendation is 80 milligram per day for both adult males and females. Now the question is, what is the Indian recommendation? Going through the publications of ICMR, I have learned that ICMR recommends pretty much that of WHO recommendation, which is 45 milligram per day or 300 milligram per week taken all at a time for both adult males and females. Now, these are the fruits that possess the world record of containing highest amount of vitamin C. Camu Camu fruit of Amazon rainforest contains about 2800 milligram of vitamin C per 100 gram of fruit mass, while the kakadu plum of Australia has been reported to contain up to 5,300 milligram of vitamin C per 100 gram of fruit. Indian fruits and vegetables rich in vitamin C include Indian gooseberry, popularly known as the amla, which contains about 445 milligram of vitamin C per 100 gram. Guava, 228 milligram, green and red chili pepper, which contains 244 and 144 milligram per 100 gram, respectively. It's worth mentioning that although this vegetable is not native to India, it's from Chile. However, presently India is the highest producer of green and red chili pepper in the world. I have also included broccoli and parsley because these two are also now available in plenty in Indian markets. The history of vitamin C. 
that fresh fruits and vegetables are required in diet to maintain good health was known from time immemorial. And scurvy has been a potential killer of sailors and pirates during their long sea voyages. According to Jonathan Lamb, in 1499, Vasco da Gama lost 116 of his crew members out of 170, and in 1520, Magellan lost 208 out of his 230 crew members, all to scurvy. However, the first attempt to give a scientific basis to scurvy was done by James Lind. In 1747, James Lind, being a surgeon of British Royal Navy, conducted an experiment on crew members where to one group he fed normal routine diet while the other group along with their routine diet got lime or lemon. In the history of medical science, this experiment of James Lind is considered to be the first experiment where a legitimate control group was incorporated in the experiment. And with his experiment, James Lind could prove that inclusion of lime and lemon could prevent the symptoms of scurvy among the crew members. Eventually, lime and lemon become mandatory in the diet of the crew members of British Royal Navy, which earned their nickname as limey by the American sailors. Horst and Frolic, two Norwegian physicians, first could show in guinea pig model that inclusion of fresh food in their diet could prevent the symptoms of scurvy. From 1928 to 1932, a Hungarian research team led by Albert St. Georgi and Joseph Virberli, as well as an American team led by Charles Glenn King, was working to isolate the antiscorbutic factor. St. Georgi had isolated a compound called hexuronic acid from the adrenal glands of animals. And he suspected that hexuronic acid may contain antiscorbutic activity. He gave some of his compounds to Charles Glenn King, who had an antiscorbutic assay ready in guinea pig in his laboratory. However, Charles Glenn King could demonstrate antiscorbutic activity of hexuronic acid, but he published his work without the knowledge of Albert St. Georgi. In 1933, Albert St. Georgi collaborated with Walter Norman Hayworth of England, and they could demonstrate the antiscorbutic activity of hexuronic acid, chemically synthesized it and decipher its structure. And for that, in the year 1937, Albert St. Georgi was awarded the Nobel Prize of Physiology or Medicine for his landmark contribution in vitamin C. The disease scurvy, which is caused by the lack of vitamin C, is characterized by formation of brown spots on the limbs, especially on hands and legs, spongy gum, and bleeding from all the mucous membranes. Persons with this ailment often display a very pale appearance, depressed state of mind, and almost immobilized conditions. Impaired wound healing and bleeding may cause death. If you look at the synthesis of vitamin C, we see that L-ascorbic acid is synthesized from D-glucose by several metabolic steps. The last step of this biosynthetic pathway is very important where l gulono gamma lactone is converted to L-ascorbic acid by the action of an enzyme called gluconolactone oxidase or GLO. It has been shown by Nishikima and Yagi in 1991 that in humans, this enzyme GLO has accumulated several mutations and because of those mutations, its functioning has stopped and it has become a pseudogene which made vitamin C not being synthesized in human body and hence has to be supplemented in diet. This is true for many other animals. Most of the primates, including the common chimpanzee, tarsiers, 
red vented bulbuls and capybara are also among those who cannot synthesize vitamin C and hence require it in their diet. Capybaras are the largest rodents found in the plains of the river Amazon. Biochemical role of vitamin C includes its function as cofactors of several enzymes. In human beings, at least there are eight enzymes which require vitamin C as a cofactor. And these enzymes are involved in the synthesis of collagen, synthesis of an important molecule called carnitine, neurotransmitter norepinephrine and ascorbic acid is also needed for stabilization of several neuropeptide hormones. We will discuss these one by one. A very important activity of vitamin C is that it can function as a water soluble antioxidant. Vitamin C is also an immuno booster. It acts to modulate the activity of phagocytes. It is involved in the production of cytokines and lymphocytes. It is also important for the formation of cell adhesion molecules in monocytes. Vitamin C is also a natural antihistamine. It has been shown that vitamin C can prevent histamine release as well as it can facilitate detoxification of histamine. Vitamin C is required as a cofactor for at least three enzymes for the collagen biosynthetic pathway. These three enzymes are prolyl 3 hydroxylase, prolyl 4 hydroxylase and lysyl hydroxylase. These enzymes add hydroxyl groups to proline and lysine which is an important step in acquiring the proper triple helix structure of the collagen helices. This photograph is an electron micrograph of the collagen fibrils. It is important to mention that collagen is the main component of connective tissue in all mammals and collagen has very high tensile strength as fibrils and that's why it is present in important body components like tendons, cartilages, ligaments, skin and bones. This diagram shows the collagen alpha helices which forms a triple helix structure very unique in biology to form the collagen fibrils which further associates to form a collagen fiber which imparts the tensile strength. If you look at the biosynthetic pathway we see that after the collagen peptide is synthesized the enzymes prolyl 4 hydroxylase and lysyl hydroxylases they hydroxylate the respective amino acids which is involved in formation of the pro-collagen fibers which is then processed at its N terminus and C terminus to finally assemble and form the collagen fibers. Vitamin C or ascorbic acid is also important for the synthesis of carnitine. Two enzymes Epsilon N trimethyl L lysine hydroxylase and gamma butyrobutane hydroxylase. These are two enzymes that are important in carnitine biosynthetic pathway and carnitine is very much important in transporting fatty acids into the mitochondria so that this fatty acid can be catabolized and ATP is produced. This diagram shows the biosynthetic pathway of carnitine and as we can see, the very first and the last step requires L-ascorbic acid as a cofactor by the enzymes trimethyl lysine hydroxylase and gamma butyrobutane dioxygenase or gamma butyrobutane hydroxylase. Vitamin C is also important cofactor for the biosynthetic pathway of norepinephrine, a neurotransmitter. Norepinephrine is synthesized from dopamine by the action of the enzyme dopamine beta hydroxylase which also requires ascorbic acid as a cofactor in the presence of oxygen. Vitamin C is said to stabilize several neuropeptide hormones. The enzyme peptidyl glycine alpha amidating monooxygenase is a multifunctional protein 
which has two enzymatically active domains namely the peptidyl glycine alpha hydroxylating monooxygenase or the PHM and peptidyl alpha hydroxyglycine alpha amidating lyase or the PAL. These two catalytic domains work sequentially to catalyze the neuroendocrine peptides to its activated alpha amidating products. As we can see from this diagram, two ascorbic acids are required for the action of PHM. Ascorbic acid acts as an antioxidant and to understand the mechanism how it works, we need to know about the reactive oxygen species or the ROS molecules. ROS or the reactive oxygen species are normal metabolic byproducts present in all aerobes because aerobes use oxygen. These reactive oxygen species like the superoxide anions or O2- hydrogen peroxide or H2O2 and hydroxyl radicals or OH are produced in the human body and they are required for physiological functions like cell signaling. However, when they are produced in excess amount, they can cause significant cell damage or even cancer. Now the mechanism by which ascorbic acid acts as an antioxidant is simple. Because ascorbic acid is a reducing agent, it can donate one electron to the free radicals and thereby inactivating it. This explains why D ascorbic acid which cannot act as a cofactor for the enzymes in the biological system but still can act as an antioxidant because reduced D ascorbic acid can also donate an electron and inactivate a free radical. This reaction shows that ascorbic acid can reduce H2O2 or hydrogen peroxide to H2O and itself gets converted into dehydroascorbic acid. Vitamin C always means the reduced form of the L-ascorbic acid. D-ascorbic acid is not naturally found, however it can be synthesized in the laboratory. D-ascorbic acid has antioxidant activity but is completely biologically non-functional. Scarvi is characterized by improper synthesis of collagen, the connective tissue protein. Symptoms of scarvi include bleeding gums, hemorrhagic spots beneath the skin. Biochemically, ascorbic acid functions as a cofactor for at least 8 enzymes that are required for synthesis of several important biomolecules like collagen, carnitine and norepinephrine. Fresh fruits and vegetables are the major sources of vitamin C. Indian fruits like guava, Indian gooseberry, red and green chili pepper are rich in vitamin C. Vitamin C is a strong antioxidant and other notable functions of vitamin C include its immunomodulating activity and its, and its ability to prevent viral infection. Thank you.